great to have uh, such influential pe people to coming into university to speak to us and especially to people that are really, really down to earth. So hearing from um, professionals makes me feel more stronger about my work and um, what direction I'm willing to take it into. It's better to be um, an artist that's honest rather than an artist that follows the current trends. How you should think about working for the rest of your life really rather than just for a fashionable moment. Try it all because then you eliminate what doesn't quite work for you and you, you eventually find your route to where you should be placed. Getting work placements are incredibly important, it's your way in. It's nice to have these different professionals coming in and just giving us, giving us an insight into what their work is about and what we can do to kind of get to that position. Subject Future Week was an incredible experience because it allowed to speak to experts in the field that I'm working in the future. I can teach somebody how to do the job very easily, but what I can't teach them is having the right attitude to be able to do the job. Don't worry if it takes time to get there because it's fine for it to take time, but you just need to persevere. Well, my personal favourite was uh, meeting Jennifer Crouch, an anatomical illustrator. And we actually had a chat for about two hours after, um, just about being in the illustration world. So it was, it was really inspiring. Uh, you never know what life's going to throw at you, and you can never really uh, have enough skills. Whatever the prize is, if it's worth having, there are other people competing for it. Subject Future Week is great, I learned a lot and it helped me to know where I want to get to. You have to be able to be good at pushing yourself and packaging yourself. You've got to realise you're in a very small percentage of the population, you're doing something that you genuinely love. It's only by hearing what the job is actually like that you can work out, do I really want to do this? And how do I go about getting that job? Become an expert because that expertise will be your currency. What was really great was that I saw um, the director of photography for the film The Beach where he gave us tips on networking and how to build a portfolio with your contacts. There's a lot of things that we can achieve today that couldn't be achieved even five years ago because of the teaming up of advanced software and advanced manufacturing technology. Uh, the whole who gets to participate in design and manufacturing has changed. You can't just sit around and wait for things to happen. You've got to make your own luck and you've got to make your own contacts. I like being able to be inspired and be passionate about subject matter and then share that with other people. That you're not just designing for yourself, it's not just something that you might like but it's actually got to be a functional, desirable product for somebody else. So to be able to think about that is, is really helpful. Be fearless, uh, take risks, meet people, be creative and just make stuff because you'll just keep learning and then that's what it's about. You've got to understand about business so you can keep getting the work because sustaining a business is quite hard. Pack in as much activity as you like those are the things that are going to differentiate you from the rest of the hunting pack. You've got to be involved in every aspect of footwear, whether it's the photography of it, the promotion of it, your job should encompass the whole art direction. Enjoy your time here, you know, enjoy your studio space that actually is a real gift. So just make the most of it. We both went to see uh, Leslie Joseph yesterday. We had a really nice um, question and answer session with her which was really, really beneficial because she's worked across the industry all her life. The secret is hard work, the secret is application, the secret is to be prepared and the secret is to love what you do.